today I wanted to explain in a way you don't have to know anything about electrical engineering to understand how I determine the health and the strength of each individual module in these hybrid batteries and it's not the voltage. I'm going to be using these two containers then I'm going to show some modules and the results from cycling those modules. This is going to be very simplistic so it may not be perfectly 100% accurate but let's say that you built a dollhouse for your daughter. So Ken and Barbie need a septic tank to catch their leavings because you don't want that all over the floor. And you also want your daughter to learn not to put certain things in the toilet like those stupid wipes that are supposed to biodegrade but they never do. This is our old, old septic tank. This is our brand new septic tank. There's nothing in it. It's got lots of capacity. You could put lots of water in there. Actually, one full cup of water could go in there and space be left. If one cup of water can go in, then you can pour one cup of water out. That's the capacity. Now, if there's some noxious gases in there and the vent doesn't work, it could build up some pressure. Let's say the pressure on this tank, this septic tank can go from five pounds per square inch to eight pounds per square inch. You'll see why that's relevant later. So here's the old septic tank. It's got some uh, uh, undesirable goo in there. And then somebody, I don't know why, flushed a battery in there. A flashlight ended up in there. Pocket knife fell out and got flushed down the toilet. Every body of water always has an old Volkswagen in it. And there might be an alligator in there too. Certainly some mosquito larvae. Maybe it ha could hold one cup like this one, the brand new one. And now it can only hold a half a cup. It has the same capacity for pressure though. The vent gets stopped up and it can go from five pounds per square inch to eight pounds per square inch of pressure still has the same capacity for pressure but it doesn't have the same capacity for holding water and it holds even less if there's a bunch of those wipes in there that say on the package that they're safe for toilets but they never biodegrade well, what the heck does that have to do with these well these have cells in them one two three four five six cells and each cell has plates in it and each of those plates are getting really old and they're getting all gunked up and they have cracks and spikes and everything else a brand new one of these inside started out like this and now it's kind of like this but it's not holding liquid or water it's holding electricity the pressure like the five pounds per square inch or to eight pounds per square inch a pressure that either one of these can hold whether it's brand new and empty or full of gunk is like voltage because voltage is a measurement of the amount of force that the electricity can exert. It's the pressure that the electricity is under. It has nothing to do with volume. So we measure the pressure and voltage, but we measure the volume that it can hold in milliamps per hour, which are these numbers here, like the 3,000, the 4,000, the 5,000. And these are older, even lower capacity than the ones I'm working with here, which you can see the results from me cycling these. Some of these are 9,000, 10,000 milliamps per hour. That's the volume that these can hold. Now, how did I determine that? Well, with cycling, I, I set the charger to cycle and it will automatically discharge, which is like pouring the contents out of the module. And it's measuring the contents as they pour out. Imagine if you could not see inside of this and it had a cap on it and we couldn't see that it had all this trash in it. We couldn't see if it's nice and empty like this. We don't know the capacity because it's a solid container that we cannot see inside of. So the only way we can know whether it can hold one cup or half a cup is by pouring the stuff out into another container and measuring how much came out. Well, when we discharge with this and it tells us that 4,522 milliamps per hour, that's what it's doing. It's measuring what's coming out of there and it's coming out at three amps is what I've got it set for. Actually, it's charging now. It's charging it back up after it discharged it. But if it were discharging, you would see that MAH number going down and measuring the MAH as it comes out, which is measuring the capacity. When I take this voltmeter and I check this other module and find that it has eight volts on it, that's like checking both of these containers and finding that they both have eight pounds per square inch of pressure on them, but that has nothing to do with how much they can hold or not. 4,000 milliamps of capacity in it, or it could have 20,000 milliamps of capacity in it. Either way, if I charge it up to where it has eight, shows eight volts, it's going to show eight volts, regardless of what capacity it has. 
under previous cycles these old plates right here never would show more than 3000 milliamps of capacity no matter how many times i cycled and no matter what the settings were they would not hold more than 3000 milliamps per hour of capacity but i can make them show eight volts if you look at the readings on this old pack that has some medium capacity modules in it going from 3000 to 6000 milliamps per hour you'll see that there's pretty consistently whether it has 3000 milliamps 4000 5000 or 6000 the readings were 8.04 volts 8.03 8.03 8.03 8.03 almost every one of them 8.03 some of them had 8.04 but there's not much variation. It doesn't really coincide with the milliamps per hour of capacity that these modules had. Now these modules were cycled uh, with the safety timer set at 350 minutes, uh, two amps in and two amps out. Now we have a whole another pack here that was set uh, the same settings, 350 minutes of safety timer, two amps in and two amps out. And these were much higher capacity modules, as you can see from 9,000 milliamps per hour to 10,000, some of them even 11,000. And the voltages, 8.64 to 8.73. So you got 8.6, uh, Pretty consistently the same voltages, no matter how much the capacity of each of these modules varied from 9,000, 10,000, 11,000. So the moral of this story is, check out this link to my hybrid repair playlist. Don't flush wipes down the toilet and don't buy modules based on voltage. I hope this helps you. And if you need more help, I will put a link to my hybrid repair playlist in the corner and my Toyota repair playlist in the other corner. Thank you for watching. I'm Victor Sane, and this is Tigger the Shop Cat, trying to build a library of knowledge to leave behind. If you want to help, please put comments below or visit the saneauto.com. subscribe button it's right there and then you hit the bell and it'll appear down here and you hit all to see links in the description of the video look below the video you'll see more and then the description pops up to make the description go away after you've scrolled through and found the links that you want DX to hit like This site contains affiliate links for which I may be compensated.